we are going to go ahead and review McAfee Security and Power Booster Free. That's a heck of a name right there. It has 10 million downloads so far. It's rated 4.4 .4 out of 5 stars. It says McAfee Mobile Security, the ultimate protection for your mobile life. It says here it's got easy management, antivirus and security, boost your device, pair your wear if you have your um, your uh, Android watch, smartwatch, app lock and privacy, Wi-Fi, and web safety, locate and secure. Wow, capture cam, ultimate protection for your mobile life. And so it's antivirus, app privacy, find my device, and performance. Let's look at what people say about it. It's easy to use. Best antivirus, useful, good security, nice features, great protection. Great protection for your phone or computer, well worth $3.99 a month. Wait a second, they didn't say it was free? Why is this guy saying it's $3.99 a month? Hmm. Let's go ahead and install it and take a look at it. Alright, let's go ahead and open it and take a look at it. Starting up, welcome to the ultimate in mobile protection. Allow us to start protecting your device by authorizing access to the list of installed apps and accepting our EULA and privacy notice. Text and data charges may apply. So accept and start protection. So the configuration is in progress. All right, turn on security features. We're going to hit turn on. So we're going to have to go to McAfee here and turn and give it permission to do what it needs to do so we can test it out. All right, so here it is. We have the first ad down here. I really don't like ads on these apps. But if you're but if it is a free app, that's where they make their money from. Even though it's free, they still make money on it using these apps down here. All right, let's go ahead and do a security scan by tapping this one up here. Scanning in progress. Scanning your device needs permissions. We're going to tap that to see what permission it might need. That's my girlfriend sending me a message. <laughs> All right. So it says it's scanning my device. Let's tap on that and see what's going on. Why is it not telling me nothing? Hmm. It says it needs my permissions, but when I tap it, it doesn't do nothing. All right. What I like right away about this is that it does have an update button. A lot of these apps that I've been looking at do not have an update button. This one does. I like that. You want to be updated with everything. Of course, here comes the first ad. Well, the second ad. Now, upgrade your protection. Now, it's telling us to upgrade. I'm going to say maybe later. All right. So, we're up to date. The scan went through, didn't find nothing, so that's good. Let's go back. Let's take a look at the privacy feature here. No issues found. We're going to tap check data exposure. About app privacy and data exposure. Some apps use more of your personal info than others. And some share your info with third-party companies that target ads based on what they know about you. We know we show you which apps are exposing more of your data than they should. Cool. That's that's cool. I want to take a look at that. Adam launched your medium. My Bank of America app within category average. So the one that does the most is Adam Launcher, really? Wow. Reads your text messages, knows apps installed on your device, knows your specific location, knows the email account on your device. Wow, it wants me to uninstall it. <laughs> That's my cool little thing I got going on here. See see this really cool um, thing I got going on here? That's what that is. I like it. But it turns out that it does a lot of bad things, man. So we're going to look for our app. Here it is, McAfee. Let's go back to it. That's crazy, guys. That is very crazy. So I might have to get rid of that thing. I had no idea it was doing that. All right, let's go back. 
let's see lock apps activate now what does that do register to activate your features Now I can't do this right here guys because I don't want to expose my text messages to the world so I'm going to set deny for now. But if you hit allow it will let you it will actually let you um lock those apps if you wanted to. Set profile that's As part of registration we would like to verify your phone number. So I can't do that with you guys here on the internet. Now if you want to block calls you can use this feature here. And you can also turn on permissions that way for that. But it might, ex it might expose my contacts, messages, and my phone numbers by doing that. So I can't do that with you guys on here. So this review is going to be a little bit limited because I can't get into, that, into details there. So far so good. I like this. It's not very user friendly though guys. Some people might not know how to use this here, believe it or not. All right. So let's go to the next thing here, battery optimizer. Get longer battery life and more storage. We're going to turn that on and see how that works. We're going to hit allow. We're going to give it permission to do that. We're going to go back. We're going to hit optimize and see what that does. Cool. Everything is optimized. All right. We're going to go ahead and try this clean memory feature here now. We're going to go ahead and hit clean. See what that does. All right, they got cleaned. Looks like it's still in the same place. Keep in mind, I was using another of these cleaner programs or apps before I used this one, so it's already cleaned by the previous app. I was uh, reviewing Clean Master Boost. Check out that video. Let's see what Clean Storage does. You have no junk to clean up, like I said, because I already cleaned it up with the last app. Track data usage. Let's see what's going on here. You can set a data limit. Looks like it's not showing me nothing. Hmm. Today, it doesn't. It's not showing me anything. You can set a data limit there, but it's not showing me anything. Hmm. If it shows anything for you guys, let me know. If you guys decided to test it out, cool. Let's go back. All right, guys. So also, this um, app has the Find device and the backup features here, but I can't use those features. Because it will expose a lot of privacy stuff on my phone here. Alright guys. But you can use those features of Find Device and Backup. They work pretty well. you got to make an account with McAfee and you can use those there. Web Security. Let's take a look at that feature. And um, avoid risky Wi-Fi networks, websites, and links so you can connect, surf, and search worry free. Web Security keeps... Keep web security on to avoid risky websites and links when you use your Google Chrome browsers. Cool. So it just shows you. So that's already on. So that's already working for you. Cool. All right. So I like this one because you can actually update it. It doesn't show it when you're, when you're scanning. It doesn't show scanning. It does have ads on it. And it is a free version. And if you want to use more of it, it makes you upgrade. So I got to give it probably a three out of five stars just because of all what all the stuff I mentioned. All right, guys, thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, and I'll see you soon in one of my other app reviews.